Hello everybody, welcome back to another Facebook Live session sponsored by the Admissions Office at Elon University. We are really glad you're with us this afternoon. I think many of you have had an opportunity to see that uh, we have a special guest uh, this afternoon. I'm very pleased to have uh, Elon's ninth president, Dr. Connie Ledoux Book, joining me for uh, a Q&A. Uh, we invite you to ask questions via the chat. We do have a number of faculty and staff members across campus in the chat available to answer your questions because we know they are, they are varied and broad and, and, and they're the experts in the field who can help you. Um, and of course, we have some questions for President Book and uh, we know that as of today, it's May 1st. It's a big day. It's a big day for you. It's a big day for us. We're really excited to uh, see who will be a part of the Elon class of 2024. So, Dr. Book, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. It's, I'm grateful to be here. I know it's a big day for our families and our students, and we have been doing so much thinking about the class of 2024 that uh, I wanted to make sure I had a chance to visit with members of the class of 2024 today. Great. Well, it's really good to have you here. And of course, I have a few questions before our, our viewers ask some questions. And sure. You know, President Book, I know that you've been a faculty member at a number of different universities, uh, including Elon, and you've obviously served in a number of administrative positions at different schools as well. Um, will you share a little bit about what, based on your experience uh, in the classroom and beyond, makes an Elon education so distinctive? Yeah, happy to do that. And I do think that uh, when you have an experience, there are lots of different models out there in higher education, and you, you experienced some of those as you were looking at different institutions to attend. And uh, each of them has their own unique way of approaching uh, learning and teaching and engagement. And one of the hallmarks and the reason that Elon uh, has always excited me and when I, uh, as a faculty member here delivering in, in the classroom as well as, uh, as an administrator supporting the work, it really is about relationship-driven education uh, that relies on a highly experiential model uh, of engagement with students. Uh, we articulate that in multiple ways. So you have this classroom experience that's intimate mm -hmm. and small. Uh, you get to know your faculty members, they get to know you and your classmates. And then you take that out to the world uh, through study abroad and internships, leadership opportunities, undergraduate research where you're working to solve problems, and service learning where you are working with dozens of community partners and thinking about a sense of purpose and supporting the common good uh, that we're all invested in. And so it really is an exciting, unique uh, higher education model and it's highly effective. Our students graduate in four years and they go on to amazing careers, uh, graduate school, fellowships, all around the world. And so I'm so proud to, uh, to, to lead an institution committed to that level of student success. I, I share your pride and your excitement about Elon. Uh, some of our viewers had an opportunity, I hope, to watch my son Noah and myself here on Sunday afternoon oh, and, nice. and, and talking nice. a lot about his amazing experience he's had and how well prepared he is for um, the workforce. He has a job offer and he's considering that right now. So, oh, that's yeah, great. So. And my son went to Elon right. as well. That's so right. I not only am a faculty member, but I'm an Elon parent. And when we were making the decision about Elon and he had been admitted to several other schools, you know, I kept, uh, I kept uh, thinking I shouldn't push too hard. <laughs> I, I need to let him make his own choice. And he ultimately did make his own choice. And he leaned into Elon for the experiential, yeah. for the engagement. Uh, and he's had lots of opportunities professionally and lives in Atlanta and does, you know, great work now. And, yeah. and, and I can see the Elon values in him. And as a parent, that makes me proud. Uh, and as a mom, that makes me proud. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. Um, so one of the most uh, significant questions we're getting the most often now in the uh, admissions office is, uh, what are Elon's plans for the fall? And naturally, we've been communicating that, but I'd, I'd like to ask you to share your vision for the fall and uh, a little bit about the work that's being done now to prepare us for the fall, if you would. Happy to do that. And of course, the health and well-being of our community is something that we take uh, very seriously, and it is uh, you know, the first, it's that you must uh, be a healthy and safe community in order to learn. Uh, and so we, we take this seriously. 
Uh, even before the coronavirus, Elon University had made a commitment to enhance uh, our campus uh, well-being and, and um, health program. So we provide those services here on campus uh, for our students. We have a partnership with the local um, hospital system here. And so uh, I'm really uh, pleased at the fact that if there ever is a need to have additional resources, those can come in easily. It's mm -hmm. not um, that the student has to go out and find those, that we can bring them in. Um, and we also, on our campus, uh, in, we have prepared for coronavirus, meaning uh, when you are on our campus, you can see the cleaning and uh, the resources we're putting into a healthy environment in our classrooms. Uh, we're also, every building you enter uh, has, uh, you know, has good sanitation, has uh, the opportunity to, to, to clean your hands. Um, we also have established a task force. We will be open in the fall. We'll be here on campus in the fall. It's really about how we do it. And so I have a task force working on, you know, uh, creating a better distance in our classrooms so that we can meet the CDC guidelines of six feet. Um, thinking about our outdoor facilities and how we stage our outdoor facilities. It's a beautiful campus and we spend a lot of time outside. And so taking advantage of those and rethinking uh, those as well. As well as everybody learning the good protocols that will be necessary to stay healthy. And I, you know, the, the good news of, of those protocols is that not only will protect us from coronavirus, but, but the truth is, and we know this from, from being in the K through 12 system, is that you, know, you get sick sometimes with colds and sore throats and things go around the classrooms. So uh, the other consequence of this heightened attention to being healthy and having good practice is that we anticipate a healthier year just generally from everyone being conscientious about their own health, but also taking measures to protect others um, in, in that good care. Yeah, um, a lot of work being done and it will be communicated regularly throughout the course of the summer, uh, I know, right? The other thing that I'm really grateful for, Greg, is that Elon has not, we are in a suburban part of North Carolina. So it really, it's a beautiful area. We have not been in a hot spot locally, like you're hearing on the news and, and that we know um, many of our students' families are experiencing, like in the Northeast and out in California. And, and so we have not had here in Alamance County uh, the impact of the coronavirus. And actually, um, you know, and so we also have partnered uh, in our health center with LabCorp, who is the nation's leading tester yep. of, um, uh, of many uh, illnesses. And so we can surge and we can, so we just have, and we're, we, we've got two great medical systems um, that are doing leading edge research on coronavirus just within a 30 minute drive of campus. Mm -hmm. And so we, we really are in a, uh, as a university in a great position right now. And, and uniquely so, right? So I'm grateful uh, to be in Elon, North Carolina. Yeah, our location is an asset tremendously, mm -hmm. always. Um, now, as you well know, one of the, the biggest, the hallmarks of Elon is global education. And this is uh, something that draws students to us um, year after year after year because it is such a, a big part of who we are. Will you talk a little bit, of, little bit about, uh, to the extent you're able, about uh, the future of global education as we look to the new normal? Yeah. arriving at Elon in the fall. Yeah, Elon has really distinguished itself uh, in study abroad and I know many students are out there are thinking about when. We don't say if you'll study abroad, we say when right. you study abroad when you come to Elon. Uh, one of the things that uh, about study abroad is that we have a team in our global education center uh, that really knows how to do this and we even uh, were one of the first universities to withdraw our students from Florence, Italy, when we saw the demands on the healthcare system, right? We knew enough to know the right questions to ask, and we could see that the demands on the Italian healthcare system would make it challenging should any of our students be sick. And so I hope that families watching this get a lot of comfort in that we know how to manage these programs. And we withdrew those students and, and they uh, were uh, home 
uh, before things began to get really, um, uh, you know, scary in Italy. So I will say that um, we, because of that expertise, we're working very closely and provide leadership in our in the national study abroad organizations who are making these decisions about returning in the fall and getting very good reports about the ability to return to study abroad in the fall, um, the capacity of those countries and their testing systems and tracing systems and their medical response. And so we have a lot of confidence in our decision making about putting students in these other countries and monitoring those situations. So we feel really good. We're commencing uh, with those programs. Mm -hmm. We also are commencing with our Study USA programs. So one of the great reasons to also come to Elon is, is around Study USA, which is uh, we have several programs, primarily in New York, Los Angeles, and DC. Um, and so uh, we also are commencing with those plans as well for the fall. Great, great. Um, so I'm going to switch gears just a little bit uh, and ask you to share with our viewers a little bit about your favorite Elon tradition. We have a lot of great traditions at Elon. What's, what's your favorite, President Book? And this is hard for the college president because <laughs> I, I, I like them all. Uh, I will say the one I look forward to most regularly is our college coffee. So uh, for those that may not be aware, every Tuesday at 940, the college gets together for college coffee. Uh, and I'm always, and what's, you know, amazed at everybody you see and have a chance to say hello to. It lasts about 40 minutes. Uh, it's between two classes. And it is one of those traditions that truly reflects the kind of care and relationship we have for each other. Uh, is, you know, everybody is cheering everybody on about whatever's going on that week. The students set up all sorts of kiosks and, and um, efforts to engage people while they have their coffee. And uh, the football coach comes out, the basketball coach, sometimes the mascot's there, uh, sometimes the marching band shows up. And uh, it's just one of those great moments where you really feel part of a learning community and all the exciting things that are happening on campus. And it happens every week, so I love that one. <laughs> it happens to be my favorite tradition at Elon as well, yeah. um, and it's been going on for a lot of years, 30 plus years. Yes, I know that for a fact. Seven, uh, <laughs> the number seven, president number seven put okay. that in. I'm number nine, right. so he told me about the first college coffee. Oh, okay. And yeah, so right. he yeah, started and that tradition. Our viewers should know we still do this. It's virtual, though, of course, uh, these days, but uh, it, does, uh, it does occur every Tuesday, and uh, it's a virtual college coffee, so we'd love for you to join us. It's a great opportunity to just sort of connect with, with the campus. Um, so thank you for that. I think that has been one of the real strengths of, you know, you can't all, you're not in charge of the world. So sometimes the world impacts you, right? Yeah. Coronavirus. Uh -huh. But I have been so proud of the way Elon University and our community has supported each other through this. Um, because we can't be together face to face, we are really taking advantage of every tool to remind each other um, that we are thinking about each other. Uh, we know that this is challenging and um, trying to our very best to keep the focus on what we can do and that is continue learning yeah. and continue being successfully, successfully completing our classes. Uh, and I'm watching faculty, staff, and students do that every day. Even our alumni mm -hmm. are, are there supporting right. our students and uh, it really is uh, something to see because we are in the middle of a pandemic and uh, we, we're not in charge of that. And it's grateful to, for me to see the Elon community just being so generous in their response with each other. I always like to describe college coffee. You could be a first year student and um, you know attend college coffee and then two years later you're a junior, you see your your first year global experience professor, and that professor still knows your name and remembered that you were planning to study a certain thing, and you think, wow, Dr. Bray still remembers who I am, and I haven't had his class since, you know, two years ago. So that's the kind of place, I think that that is mm -hmm. just so, um, that's the epitome of Elon, it's just so uh, relational and, and um, uh, community oriented, so. Um, President Book, we know that, and our viewers know, I know, that we have excellence across the board, uh, Phi Beta Kappa, 
um, AACSB, JC, uh, ACE, JMC, and NCATE for our... It's the alphabet soup it of is. accreditation. Welcome to higher yeah. education, right? <laughs> right. So we have strength across the board, but I, I wonder if you would comment on um, the really exciting growth that we have in the STEM fields at Elon. Sure, happy to. And uh, I think the coronavirus itself just presents how critical uh, this workforce will be. And uh, we have so many students interested in uh, the, the science, technology, engineering, math. Um, I add to that public health and other ways that science and STEM fields intersect. So, you know, even if you're a business major, uh, we have students who are combining their business degrees with biology degrees and thinking about entrepreneurship in those, mm -hmm. uh, in those areas. Our engineering students who are, are connecting biomedical engineering um, with public health and, and making sure we continue to have devices that address medical needs and, and our environmental sustainability. So we have Loy Farm, which everybody on campus <laughs> knows is a favorite of mine. Uh, I love to grow things and I like to be out at Loy Farm and in the outdoor classroom. So all of those intersections with STEM and we are really seeing unprecedented growth and it's exciting and um, on the horizon are two new facilities here on yeah. campus because of the growth, right? We're expanding and, and building more labs and uh, interactive spaces for the experiential learning elements of STEM and um, looking forward to, to having those uh, uh, launch in the future. Me too. They won't be too far from this building either. Yeah, so, right. so we're excited about that. So another question, and you've been at Elon for, uh, as president for just over two years, and you were a faculty member here for what, 16 years before that, I That's believe. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah before um, <laughs> leaving to be uh, at another institution. Um, what's your favorite place on campus? It really is a, a beautiful campus and um, I do like to take walks and I hope that you'll join me because I take walks with the student body on Tuesdays at 7 and for those who like to sleep in we also do it on Fridays at noon throughout the semester. Uh, so uh, I do hope you'll, you'll join me for a walk. It is absolutely a beautiful campus. And, and some of the highlights of that walk are we pass Lake Mary now. Mm -hmm. And there's always, I saw they had pictures because for, we have lots of new ducklings this year. And so it's a beautiful spot on campus uh, where students have swings and hammocks. And uh, every now and then people are putting a fishing pole in. And so we always walk past Lake Mary now. And then to, to be honest, I actually like uh, walking past uh, our new, one of our new dining halls, McEwen Dining mm -hmm. Hall, because it smells <laughs> so good. <laughs> we have a pastry chef in there, and uh, I'm telling you that like, that's a thumbs up to, uh, like, you know, to the dining uh, folks here at Elon who just do a fabulous job and are part of the family. <laughs> uh, another question. Uh, What's the best part? What's your favorite part about being the president of Elon University? You know, it's funny. I had somebody ask me this yesterday about, oh, it's how, oh, this terrible, you've got coronavirus mm -hmm. and all. And I said, well, yes, that is true. There's a lot of challenge there. But inside my head is a whole nother list. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I get to see student transformation close up. And uh, I just want students to you to know, and I know y'all saw a tour guide and you probably have been on panels and seen seniors and talking about the difference between your first semester and your last is really remarkable. Yeah. And we all at Elon get to witness this transformation that's about to unfold. And it is exciting. It is. And even parents come up to me and are like, who would have thought my <laughs> you know, son or daughter would have be in this moment? And I always say, we thought that. <laughs> and because we get to see it. And it is such a privilege to see that what learning, how learning can transform you uh, and the opportunities it creates for your future. So we love that part. <laughs> yeah, I know. I will have to agree. You know, I, we've been talking about that, obviously, because we, we see it happen. But then when it happens to your own student, it's really exciting. And I think I, 
I sort of realized that sitting in these chairs on Sunday afternoon, it was yeah. just really fun to see. To see the how, young person yeah. he had become yes. and as he's ready to launch into this exciting career. So as president, to me, that is some of the most exciting moments is that I, uh, is when that student who I met as a first year or second year student stops me and says, Dr. Brooke, guess what? Yeah. And tells me about this opportunity that they just have realized, whether it's an internship or a job or, or graduate Fellowship, school. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm hearing, I know uh, people are, are very concerned right now, but I want you to know that we're hearing from our uh, Student Professional Development Center that most of our students' employment is holding. Some of it's been delayed, the start mm -hmm. dates, obviously, and but it is holding. and. And uh, I got, you know, just last week, several calls about law school and med school and, you know, really exciting things happening for our students. Yeah, yeah, it's that time of year too. Um, a couple more quick questions, one of which is um, related to the dining hall comment you made. Someone, a viewer <laughs> wants to know, what's your favorite uh, food? In yeah. the dining hall. In the dining yeah. hall. Yeah, since like, we often eat in the dining hall. Okay, halls, right? I will, so, you know, I, uh, I like to eat, I like, and so I like I like all of it. But I will say they have this uh, uh, southern. They always do a southern feature, all right. And so it's always really good. <laughs> and uh, it's it's you know there's a uh, they use the loc their their meat is locally sourced here in North Carolina and uh, and they have. I'm not vegan, but they always have great vegan options. So a lot of times I'm eating the vegan bar too. Um, so, but I, that Southern bar, cause it's got things like, that I like, like uh. mac and cheese <laughs> and tater tots. And it's not all unhealthy either. They've got like, right. you know, cornbread and collard greens <laughs> and other things that we eat in the South. And I always go for the watermelon too. <laughs> so it is really uh, lots of great, great meals and Southern traditions. And for people who aren't from the South, uh, you know, it's an exposure to a whole new, yeah. you know, that we always have grits available for breakfast right. and things like that. So you get to know a little bit uh, because it's locally sourced, too, about the farming and the, uh, the efforts that go on uh, here to, to eat healthy. And for those of you who are not from the South and are not familiar with grits, I'm from New Jersey myself, so it, you'll fall in love with them. Yeah. I promise. Yeah. I promise. <laughs> so before we go, President Book, I wonder if you would... Um, offer some advice to parents who on this very important day are making a really important decision along with their student. Um, what advice would you share as a parent yourself, as the university president, as a, as a professor, um, to these families as they make this important decision today, particularly about Elon? And it is important, you know, I'll stress that. I, I tell the students sometimes that the two most important decisions you make in your life are where you go to school and who you decide to partner with mm -hmm. for your life. And, and, uh, and so it is important, and I know it, it's important in a stressful time. And I've been thinking a lot about the class of 2024 uh, just because of uh, the, the challenge, and we know it. Uh, I will say to parents that, and this is true for, for my children as well, that, you know, I, I tell my, uh, my kids, you know, there's a thousand right choices in life, yeah. right? There's a thousand right choices. Uh, you should pick one where you, one, can see yourself, right? Like you think, I have a sense I can thrive there, right? And you see yourself. And, and, uh, and that the welcome, one of the things I'm really proud, that the welcome for you is there and that... Uh, that you're going to be in a place that's supportive for the goals that you have. Uh, I will say that what I think really makes Elon distinctive and why I hope you'll choose Elon today is our commitment to student success is absolutely at the core yeah. of the campus. That everywhere you turn, people on our campus are talking about students, what the students are doing, student success. Every decision we make is about student success. And because of that, students are successful here. And if I were a parent, and I am a parent, <laughs> but if I were a parent making that decision today, I hope that will give you a sense of confidence that the investment in an Elon education is an investment in your student success. 
Thank you, President Book. We have one more comment from the chat um, asking you, President Book, uh, to continue the uh, communication that you have provided to the campus community, but to all constituents via video, via this format, that sort of thing. Um, and uh, so. Absolutely, yeah. I will. We'll do that. Yeah, great. Thank you. Well, I just want to conclude this session by thanking you so much, President Book, for your Thanks time. Thanks for having this me. Afternoon. It was a lot of fun, no, a first. It's... So I got to do this for the first time. I think this is my first Facebook Live event ever. Oh, great. <laughs> so in, our, very in, our, good. in our homemade studio here yeah, in, in the Admissions right. Welcome Center. A lot Center. of fun. Yeah. Well, um, I just want to add, too, that um, what the President said about feeling welcome and sort of getting to know the place, we are mindful of the fact, again, that not everyone who had planned to visit this spring was able to do so. And you've heard me say before, check out elon.edu slash life as a phoenix. That's our best way of conveying to you what it could be like to be at Elon, what it will be like to be an Elon student. We know it can't completely replace a campus visit, um, but we hope that that is helpful along with these kinds of experiences to, to demonstrate just how much we'd love for you to be a phoenix in the fall. So we wish you the very best today. Uh, happy graduation, although we know it's going to be a very different experience. We are very much looking forward to your arrival on this campus this fall. Thank you.